So we invited the public to nominate organisations and individuals who, in their view, deserve our thanks and recognitions. So, ladies and gentlemen, here to present the B-MOBO Award, supported by Western Union, is one of the stars of the hit show Doctor Who, and is also the writer, creator, and star of the British films Kid Adulthood and Adulthood. Yes. You know who, who I'm going to say. He's been tagged the British Spike Lee and was recently named of one of the 20 most influential people in British film. Please give a very warm welcome to Mr. Noel Clark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Kenya. It's an honor to be here and for me to share this moment with all of you. There are many people in our communities who are an inspiration to us all. I mean, I don't really believe what I do is remarkable, but what is remarkable is the work that this man, Ricky McCullough, does. He was a victim of a brutal carjacking that left a bullet lodged in his neck and his career as a dancer over. I went to meet Ricky and find out how through all adversity, what gave him the strength to make a difference to so many people's lives. Check it out. What's good? Follow. How did you turn that negative into a positive and, and then go on to, to help other people? How did, how did that come about? After the incident, um, three months, three to four months out of being out of hospital, um, I applied to the Prince's Trust yeah. and um, they gave me a grant to start, well, to start doing music projects. Come, let's do this, blood. No. Time is money, so I can't waste time, so I spend time putting in the work that I need to. All we youth love music, yeah. and um, we're, we're about to be able to come to my studio and learn how to do music production, the songwriting skills and so forth, and getting them to learn and keeping them engaged. I'm um, trying to work with ex-offenders, vulnerable youth, uh, youth at the risk of offending as well. Every day's the same, can't get out of bed. In my head. From the ages of about 14, 15 years old, I was involved with gangs and petty theft and violence. As for my life, I kind of went a bit haywire, ended up getting convicted for robbery, spent a bit of time in prison. The group that you're going to be around, that, that's a strong influence yeah. on your, your new life. It can provide a lot of peer pressure. Definitely. So I just started um, picking up bad habits. Next minute, you hear sirens and everything. What was it that changed you? What gave you that? What was it that gave you that direction, really? Basically, what Ricky has done is gave me that surroundings where I felt at home to better my skills. And hearing it from Ricky's side as well, it's like more of an inspiration to say, well, boy, I can change my life around. I can um, make things better for the future. That certain people will just wash their hands of you and think, oh, all right, he's been there, he's done that, he ain't gonna change. But some people need a bit of a kickstart, so he was there to help me get that has a, a big positive influence on me because I can now concentrate on things that I want to take as a career. If I've got free time, I'll just ring up Ricky and I'll be like, is it right if I come down today? And he'll be like, yeah, come, I've got, always got projects for you. I am the crime scene saviour, Rudolf Fraber, Chicken Eater, T High Streeter. Some of the kids that I've actually worked with, they've turned themselves around and now are mentors and they are doing seminars with myself as well and talking to other youth. I'm just saying that there are other options out there as opposed to like a gang life. Ricky's stories obviously is, is amazing and I think Frosted Ice Inc are doing, doing a fantastic job. What he's achieved is, is, is important. It's basically just said, to show me that there's just better life out there for you. He's giving me that kind of ground platform to start making a difference. What Ricky's doing, it, if there was more of it, I think though the crime in, in, in London would decrease so dramatically. <laughs> Yeah, what we do is just a gloss. This guy is a real life role model and a real life hero. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the B-Mobile Award in 2008, Mr. Ricky McCullough. Yeah, 
Um, first and foremost, I want to say the biggest praise and honor to God because without him, I wouldn't even be able to be here right now, three years later on down the line. Um, it's really due to the, the love and support of my family and friends that they were able to, able to get me through the, the, the troubled time that I actually had. But I also want to send a big shout out to all the youth that I've been working with. And um, I'm actually doing some work with Jack Knight now we're going to be doing touring and we're going to be touring and doing seminars around the UK. So please, people, look out for that. Uh, check out the website www.frostedicing.com. Hit me up and let's do this. Yeah, please. Okay, now it's time for more music. 2008 has seen our next act grow from being a very good artist to being a really bloody great one. And as a special treat, we're going to get two slices of his distinctive R&B. So, Wembley, please put your hands together for Double Mobile Award nominee, Jay Sean. <laughs> <laughs> 